summer has just been summer and you know what we're just going with it so I wanted to get on here real quick and just talk to you guys about mascara for our eyes and I want to show you something that has been working for me for my eyelashes um, as far as like my mascara making them look longer and fuller um, and maybe you already do this but this is something that I just discovered for me and I know a lot of it has to do with the type of mascara that you have so I'll just get right into it. So the type of mascara I've been using for the past couple months is the is the Glossier. It's from Glossier. It's actually where I get my brow flick from as well. So I decided to try their mascara. And I wasn't overly impressed, honestly. I mean, I did like that it doesn't smear. It's a non-smudge mascara. It's not waterproof. It's a non-smudge, um, meaning that when it comes off, it comes off in those chunks, kind of like the Thrive mascara, but it doesn't come out in the tubes. It just kind of chunks off a little bit, and I really like that. So that is one thing that I do like about it, and I do like the brush on here. But as far as the formula... I just felt like I wasn't getting a lot of bang for my buck. I felt like it wasn't, um, I guess it wasn't really doing much for my lashes. I don't have the best lashes, but they're not too bad either at the same time. So I'm going to show you how I'm applying this. The, I would say the formula is more on the dry side. It does not clump really very much at all, but it does, when I say the dry side, it means it's not super liquidy. Like it, when I put it on, it's not like this, just this really loose, globs on there like that they get in your eye like it's a fairly dry formula so what I have always done my entire life is I put mascara on one lash and then I go to the other lash and then I come back for a second coat and then I come back for a second coat and a third coat and that actually works really really well if you are using a mascara like a drugstore mascara that again is that really not watered down formula, but you know what I'm talking about. Like it's just almost dripping out of the container when you're pulling it out. Um, that This is not like that. So if you do have that really wet formula mascara, I'll show you a tip for that, or I'll tell you about a tip for that in just a minute. But first I wanted to go into if you have a, a mascara that's kind of a dry formula and it, it dries quickly, like it just by the time you get back to it, it was already dry and crusty. So that was the whole issue is it was a simple switch of going from one eye to the next. It's just to stay with one eye until it's completely done and then go to the next eye. It, that's, it's that easy. And maybe you already know this, but I feel like sometimes the simplest tips people don't know. And I'm surprised of what people don't know because there's a lot of things that I, I haven't known and still don't know that I'm always surprised about. So I actually have some old mascara I left on and I did that for two reasons. The first is I wanted to show you how I can still make my eyelashes look very beautiful and separated and long with uh, just having some old mascara on there. Secondly, I'm kind of lazy right now, so maybe that's the first reason. Whatever, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna go in and show you and don't worry about my mascara putting on face. I'm actually gonna grab a mirror real quick so I can see because that, and I feel like the phone doesn't do as well to be careful because it does dry quickly so now I like to blink my mascara on as well as just keep it open I also like to go on the top lash I don't use an eyelash curler usually actually I don't use one at all I haven't used one in a long time but I feel like my lashes do pretty okay I could probably get more length out of my lashes if I got a curler but that's okay so I'm going to go right back on for the second coat and just keep going. And the key is with any mascara is to put that second coat on when it's not all the way dry, but when it's still kind of wet and pliable because it will help to grab onto the mascara that you're putting on for the second coat and um, lengthen those out, add more um, volume, make them look thicker and all that okay so that's number two coats okay now I'm gonna go to the third coat and again this salute this formula this mascara formula dries fairly quickly so I go immediately and I don't have to wait long but you can see how much it's building for me whereas before when I was alternating between my lashes I couldn't get it to build and that's because it was already too dry it wasn't grabbing on to that um, previous layer and I could see the angle 
So I feel pretty good about that. I think that I could actually brush out a clump. No, there it goes. It's good. So that is the one side. Now I'm going to go to the other side. And before with this mascara, I was really, really disappointed with it because it was not adding any length. It was not doing me any service and it was a brand new tube. So I immediately thought that the mascara was just shit. And I mean, again, it's not my favorite mascara I've ever tried, but it's a lot better since I've done this technique. So again, if you have a mascara that is a fairly dry formula, then be sure to try this trick. And if it's dry or if it's a dry formula or it dries very quickly, stick to one eye until you've got it to where you want it. Then go to the next eye. This one I probably should have washed off. It's got a weird crimp in it. <laughs> Alright, layer three on this guy. So with some other mascaras, I could get this much color with the first coat. So again, it's not my favorite formula, but I feel like I could have done a better presentation if I did have taken that makeup off, but I kind of wanted to show you how it goes. I'm too close to the camera. It doesn't like me that close not that good of a camera. All right, so I've got some length, I've got some um, volume, and it's, um, and I added it to a coat that was already on there. So anyway, try that tip. Um, if you want to, if you have a, so let's go to the other side really quick. I have another video. I have a video on YouTube um, of trying a beauty trick that people were doing where they're putting powder on their lashes between their coats and that's actually a really great tip but even better is if you the, it's the best tip for uh, mascara for those watered down formulas like I was talking about earlier so if you have a mascara and it's really like runny and it's not drying very quickly it's a slow drying mascara and you're alternating between lashes that's what you want to do with the slow drying or a, yeah, slow drying mascara is to do that alternating. A fast drying, just do one at a time. But um, what was I saying? Oh yes, <laughs> if you have that slow drying mascara and it's just not building, then put some powder in between your lashes. You can get a, a separate spoolie and put some powder on with that, or you can actually get a brush, like a makeup brush, and dip into your setting powder and put it on your lashes, and then get another spoolie, not your main one, dip it in there, put it on there, and just make sure you keep your, your tube clean, I guess we would call it. Um, and that's a really great tip for that really watered down mascara, as well as building a lot of volume and length for your lashes. So, all right, ladies, I hope you have a good one. Bye.